good afternoon and welcome to Arlington. For over 150 years, our nation has honored her fallen patriots here at Arlington National Cemetery. These hallowed stones are solemn memorials to the men and women who answered the call of their country. Each gave of themselves for the sake of freedom. Some paid the ultimate price. Some served many years, others served but a few, but all served so that this nation might always be free. Today we've come to this garden of stones to this final resting place to honor Master Sergeant John Work Stevens for his distinguished service to our nation. You've gathered here today because it was special to each of you. We've come to say your final farewells and to thank God for all that he meant to you. Jack joined the U.S. Air Force in 1969 and served honorably in Vietnam. During his years of service in the Air Force, he was awarded many medals and honors. These included a silver star, three distinguished flying crosses, and several air medals. He was also awarded numerous medals for valor as a pararescue. As a result of injury during a rescue, he began duty in the Office of Special Investigations and served in that capacity until he retired after 23 years of service. After retirement, he remained in Germany, and then he returned stateside to Spokane with his wife Phyllis in 2000. I'm told Jack had an accident while he was doing some welding back in August 2008, which resulted in severe injuries that stayed with him through the rest of his life. But Jack never felt sorry for himself. He was always positive and optimistic. The staff at the Spokane Veterans Home loved Jack. They were so inspired by him. He made a difference in so many lives there. But wonderful words to describe a life well lived. Jack proudly served our nation's Air Force during a critical time in our country's history. And today we stand not far from the monument to that Air Force. And in a real sense, it's a monument to Jack and his service to our nation. His passing has left a void in your lives, and I pray that your fond memories of him and God's faithful presence will help sustain you now and in the days to come. Some 3,000 years ago in ancient Israel lived a man known as King David, and to this day, David is Israel's most beloved king. But David was not always a king. As a young boy, he was simply a shepherd who watched over his father's flock of sheep. In time, David grew to love the sheep, and one day he recognized correlation. The way a shepherd loves his sheep is the same way that God loves his people. And so David wrote a song in which he imagined himself as the sheep and the Lord as his shepherd. And today we know that song as the 23rd Psalm. As we gather on this hallowed ground in the shadow of death, I'd like to recall the words of that beloved psalm. And as I do, I invite you to imagine yourself as the sheep and the Lord as your shepherd. And you're welcome to join with me if you'd like. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's my prayer for you that as you walk through the valley of the shadow of the morning, that you'll sense the presence and the comfort of God. And now, unto the mercy of Almighty God, we commend the soul of John Work Stevens departed, and we commit his ashes to their resting place, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our Creator, from whom we come and to whom we return, and in whom we live and move and have our being. We praise you for your good gift of life, for its wonder and mystery, its friendships and fellowships. We thank you for the ties that bind us one to another. We give thanks to you for Jack Stevens, recalling all in him that made others love him. We bless you for the goodness and truth that have passed from his life into the lives of others, and have made the world richer for his presence. Lord of mercies and God of all comfort, look down in compassion upon these whose joy has been turned into mourning. Especially do we pray for his family and close friends. Enable them to find in you their refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. We thank you, God, that deep in the human heart is an unquenchable trust that life does not end with death, that you who made us will care for us beyond the bounds of vision, even as you have cared for us in this earthly world. This we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Across the Potomac River near the World War II Memorial is a monument to another American hero, and it reads, quote, In life he honored the flag, in death, the flag shall honor him. Master Sergeant Stevens honored that flag, and today the symbol of our great nation honors an American patriot. Today this flag honors John Work Stevens. 
Marines, Master Sergeant, United States Air Force. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we will be your prize of military medals.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to extend my condolences one more time. In case we lost y'all stay in peace. I want to thank you all for that being a part of your service. Mm -hmm. and ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our service at the head of the National Cemetery. Um, Mr. Stevens, his actual grave location. Right down here, there's flowers, right there, on this little dirt road right here. There's a grave 5818. Okay, this is section 55 we're standing in. The grave number is I'm sure.